Over 1,200 residents of Brazos County attended the town hall meeting on health care in Bryan yesterday, hosted by Congressman Chet Edwards. Democrats and Republicans alike came to the function to voice their opinions on the health care debate going on in Congress. Health care is just hard for my wife and I to get, and it's, it's extremely expensive. Um, we spend over $1,200 a month on health care for just the two of us. I think instead of going after the whole health care, they should just go after maybe the cost of it, reducing cost, not change the whole health care plan because that's just absurd. We have the best in the world. There's no point in changing it. While several attendees carried flags and signs supporting and criticizing Edwards, his opening remarks were very clear. I'll commit to you that I will read the bill from cover to cover. I will... <clears throat> And that won't be an easy task if you try to read this House bill, by the way. I will analyze it because just reading the bill from cover to cover is just to start. It's, it, it's written in legalese, lawyer language, and, and you've got to really analyze it beyond just uh, reading it. You've got to check out and compare one section to another and look at it carefully. And thirdly, I won't vote before I've listened to people from all walks of life in, in our district. And that's why we had 23 meetings last week on health care in our district. That's why we're having this meeting tonight. If this bill passes, will Congress live by the exact same health care plan as you vote in for America? I, I, I see no way that another program, another bureaucracy can be added without more debt. We didn't get the space program done in seven months. It took experts in their fields to get the thing together and look where we ended up doing what we did with the technology. Why does this have to happen so fast? I think you need to do what we want you to do, not what you want to do. Through answering several questions during the meeting, Congressman Edwards was able to outline his current stance on the situation. I will not vote for a bill that I think sets up a government-run healthcare system. The, the truth is what we have today is a public-private partnership. I think we need to continue that private-public partnership. The fact is that I, I think the president and the leadership in the House were wrong to try to push a, a vote on H.R. 3200, the House Health Care Reform Bill, before the August, August recess. And, and I, I I basically said, along with other colleagues, that if forced to vote on a bill of this importance that affects every family in, in this room and in my district and throughout the country, if I were forced to vote on it despite whatever good or bad might be in that bill, that I would vote no if I had to vote on it before I could read it, review it carefully, and listen to constituents uh, throughout my my district. As the health care debate rages on, town hall meetings such as this will no doubt aid congressmen in making difficult decisions to come. This is Christian Hughes for TheBat.com. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.